What's Buckle up? up for safety. <laughs> That's what we're doing. What's up, everyone? You're watching um, Richard and Lindy, and today where are we venturing off to? To some private farm that we're not allowed to tell you about because it doesn't belong to us. It's not a public camping spot. There is those areas. No toilet, no showers, no ablutions, no running water. There is nothing. So we're completely off the grid, and that's our. This is our first actual camping as a e as a couple no, that we've ever done. No. And off grid and in our van that we bought for getting out and overlanding and camping so hey it's gonna be an adventure if you're not subscribed please subscribe and it helps our channel go a long way and like with any good road trip we have had to stop two times now first time we had to stop and get ice and cool drinks and then Lindy forgot that she did not pack in anything to pin our uh, window blackouts with so we had to stop the second time uh, to get a little bit of press tape or some sellotape. Next stop, campsite. And welcome to camp for the next 24, 48 hours. I, I don't know. He has campsite, so we got the boat, look at that. caravan, look at that. Jenny in the corner, our van we're going to set up under the tree. We may try and position a little bit better so that we can get a nice view of the water in the morning. Uh, Make sure shower yeah. over here so when, in, when anybody's showering, we can just pour over here. Straight away, we've pumped up the pool noodle that we had to drive all the way to Strand for yesterday. So that's up and running. Here's the good old boat. There's Mr. T. I just So how's it, Mr. T? No, I don't know how's it. How's it? How's it? How's it? How's it? <laughs> All right, cool. So now we're going to switch our cameras because we're about to head out onto the water. How was that? I am very impressed with the fact that you stayed on for so long. I thought you were going to come off a couple of times. I was like, okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah, and Jess, you almost came off a couple of times. Oh, that hurts my arms, bro. This is going to be classic. Tyrant, first pull, you just got to crank it up and spin them around. <laughs> for you to come off than I thought. 
and I'll continue because your arms are stretched out like Superman. Jace was like slipping across the water. <laughs> yeah, but she didn't quite slip across the water like this. Hey, Josh, Josh. Shame, little Oak's got a bit of a fever, but we're making, making good camp here. Making, I'll eventually get there. So we got the tent up just to store uh, everything that we want to. Cars here, Lindy's busy with the blackout curtain, so back one's on. I think that as soon as all of these are up this is going to be one sweet little place to stay gonna have the bed what about the mozzies what are you guys t -t -t in the background for you nothing huh nothing we're just talking about what we're making for dinner hey mm. say hello say hello say hello <laughs> boo there we go <laughs> I don't know, you tell me. How's it going with our blackout curtains over there? Okay. Listen, yeah, I'm telling you something. What? That purple hair of yours looks quite lacquer, huh? Does it? Yeah. Kinky. What, what turned out as a flop um, actually turned out quite well. It wasn't a flop, it was a fluke. And welcome to the King and Queen's quarters. So, we have our blowout mattress, we got our pillows, we got our duvet, we got everything. Lindy did a phenomenal job with our blackouts. Now, these have space, so place where we're going to get a bit of light is up front there so we've got the sun visor up there those windows the front windows don't have on but other than that I think this is going to be awesome my only concern is that once we're in bed is that our heads are down a little bit so what I may have to do is just steal a couple of planks from the firewood um, stick them under the back wheels reverse up on them just to give us a little bit of tilt but this is going to be epic and just take in for a moment the beautiful sounds of nature So we're somewhere along the Breda River. Uh, when we went up further on, and you would have seen in the video already, there was a bunch of other campsites that are all public campsites. This is a private campsite on a private farm, so nobody else is allowed to come here. Um, but it's a beautiful spot. I mean, here we're out on the water, trees, the bugs, a bit of bird life. Um, I'm not going to take you into the other tent and all that here. It's a bit, uh, it's under construction at the moment, but. This is gorgeous. <laughs> Welcome to the VIP suite. Oh, baby, you're not even under the sheet. No. We've even got sheets and whatever else. We've got fitted sheets, we've got a pullover sheet, we've got everything here. So here's our little We're fully kitted out. space. I think the sun's going to come in by those windows and brighten this show up for us. But luckily, we positioned that the sun comes up from behind us. So we've got our blackout curtains here, there on this side. And I think we're set for a good night. Mm -hmm. So we will see you guys in the morning. In the morning. Good night. How was your first night sleeping in uh, the King and Queen suite? It was an adventure. <laughs> it actually wasn't that bad and that uncomfortable. It just got incredibly warm inside here and I just couldn't take it anymore. So eventually at about 3 o'clock this morning I got up and went for a walk around. Weather's turned all overcast. Um, it's supposed to clear up. Yeah, when we looked at the weather, it's, they say it's going to go up to a whole 35 degrees Celsius. Um, so I'm expecting a hot weather, but 3 o'clock this morning, got out, went for a bit of a walk, um, cooled myself down, and then I cracked the front windows open just a little bit, and that caused a little bit of airflow, so I was able to get some sleep. But your blackout curtains were top-notch. They were. Um, the makeshift ones. Yeah, and, I mean, even you can see behind us, all dark behind us, because the blackout curtains are still there. So... All in all, this is actually workable, but this sleeping, uh, what do you call this thing? Oh, blow up mattress, it really, uh, it's got a hole in it or something because we're basically sleeping on 
It deflated a little. <laughs> just just a wee bit. So we've got a couple of improvements to make before the next night of doing this, but um, overall, really good. Now, what's going to happen? We don't know. Coffee. <laughs> it's been a bit of a crazy morning this morning. Uh, new generator there in the background had to fix the boat with a tilt and all of that that wasn't working. So finally, we're going to go get out on the water and see how... Ah, running out of hands here. We're going to go and see if everything's working and have a little bit of fun. Rats ended up. <laughs> Shame. Now these two, Uncle Pops and Jess are going to go. Oh, mm, Baba Joshi. Daddy. Hello. Hello. Auntie Trish. Hi. And then this beautiful place we have here. And then, yes. What did you say to me that day I knocked on the door the first time? Pardon? What did you say to me that day when I knocked on the door coming looking for Tracy the first I'll time? I'll give you a hiding there and I'll give you a hiding today. <laughs> 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 the pops in the water now and this is um, an interesting experience for everybody involved. Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> had a pretty awesome day so far. Weather's turned out to be a little bit a uh, little bit cooler but the wind is pumping. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell in the video but parents have left, uh, Tyrant's two kids have left so you know what's a better thing to do? Throw some rods in here. I've been uh, fishing with a bit of a lure. I had one bite and probably 50 casts so now we're just gonna chill enjoy the evening and then later on tonight where are we? back into our makeshift campsite see how it goes for round two. First night yeah a little bit warm not so great should we see if we can get a smile hey where's the smile for the people hello hey hi <laughs> hi hi are you waving so I was just in the shower now and I had to jump up quickly because I wanted to show you the view from the shower so primitive shower but sadly we've lost some of the sunset already but hi beautiful is that and if only the camera would focus properly what a time to be alive in nature where you can shower out in the open enjoy sunsets like that and watch those clouds come in which i think is going to bring rain so we're going to have to make a gamble there do we sleep in the pajero and have no risk of getting wet but getting hot or move into the tent but then we have a risk of getting wet but definitely not getting hot but how beautiful is that? And can we just take a moment to appreciate how beautiful my van is? This thing has been amazing. This whole time it has not skipped a beat. And there's been a couple of upgrades that I've made, which make sure that you hit that like, subscribe and notification bell. And I'll tell you all about them in the next couple of weeks. So it's our final morning here. And let me just grab the camera here. And last night, we ended up sleeping in the tent just because we got into the van and it was full of mosquitoes and whatever and I was just not this so we slept in the tent nice and breezy which was a big improvement from the van now the question is would I do it again sleeping in the van short answer yes long answer not without some improvements the sleeping uh, the blow up mattress didn't work so well um, because it didn't fit in there properly kind of like pulled all out of shape and whatever else it was quite uncomfortable but I think if I had to take it and put some foam in the back of the van and position it around the wheel wells in the back here, it would be perfect for our needs. We're not big campers. We're completely new to the whole overlanding scene. And I think for the first run, we did, we did pretty well. Yes, we've got the luxury of having Masasio with the caravan and the generator in the background and that type of thing. So 
in terms of keeping things cool, we had the fridge um, in the back of their van. They also had a nice big cooler box that is triple insulated and blah, 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 and all of that good stuff. So yeah, first experience sleeping in the van, epic. Can't wait to do it again, um, which may be sooner than we think. We are heading up the east coast in a couple of days time, which may see us sleeping in the van again. So we've got a couple of improvements to be made. But in the meantime, we're just going to enjoy our last little bit of time here on the Breda River. Enjoy the sunshine. I think it's going to be a cracker of a day today already. It's nine o'clock and the sun is burning us up already. So yeah, we're going to enjoy our time. And then we will finish the pack up and start to head home. And one thing I do want to mention is the blackout curtains worked a treat. Considering we slept in the tent this morning, hot past five when the sun was already baking on our tent, we could feel it. But sleeping in the van, we didn't have the sun burning us or doing anything until 7, 7.30 yesterday morning. So definite winner. A couple of improvements we made. We'll cut them better to fit out in the windows here. Find a better solution than using Prestec because in this Roberts at Sun, um, yeah, I know, it becomes like stringy, chewy bubblegum. Uh, which is terrible, but otherwise, well done, Barry. <laughs>